Hi everybody, this is Larry in Brandon, Minnesota. We are going to brine and smoke some fish, my friend. We got some steelhead salmon. Good, good stuff. This is tulipy. It's a white fish up here. Oh, this stuff is just killer good. I got a couple of these from my uh, son-in-law. And I also got a bunch from a buddy of mine, Luther. A whole bunch of really nice, I got some big northern fillets and northern pike. Got a, about a third of a five gallon bucket there. We're going to brine this up. I'll put the recipe underneath here for the brine. This is killer brine. I do my salmon with it. I do everything with it. Uh, the recipe will be underneath. When I get this ready tomorrow, I'm going to get it all brined now. I'll follow up and be back and show you how to get it prepared and get it ready for the smoker. Okay? Okay, it's day two. We got the fish. You're wondering what the uh, what's with the crutches? Just holds the doors tighter. Uh, got the salmon, the tulipy, and uh, let's open her up. Take a look. And the steelhead in there. Salmon smoking. Looking good. Ooh. Let's see. Got a little turkey burner on the bottom down there. Burning up my smoke. There is my salmon up there. There's my tulipy. Here's my northern, whole bunch of, we got a big bunch going. Oh yeah, we are smoking in Minnesota. Let her rip. We'll crank this down just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna run it about a, probably about 120, 130 for the first couple hours and slowly start bringing it up until you get to about 180 in the cabinet and uh, you can tell when the fish after I'm going to smoke it about six eight hours you want and you can know you just take a little piece off and take it in and taste it see if you like it if you need to smoke it more but we'll be back for an update later ciao here's a little update been in here a couple two three hours she's starting to get a nice little color on it some of the northern here here's the uh, that's the tulip or the nah tulipy. There we go, tulipy. And there's the salmon. That's looking good. The northern, everything looking good. Just uh, turn the heat down a little more there. Put some more. I use apple and hickory together. And the reason I do that is because if you use just straight hickory and you smoke a long time, you can get a little bitter taste. But this way, if you use a combination of the both. Works good. Just put new wood chips in. We'll fire her back up and let her go again. But uh, yeah, she's looking. Oh, oh man. Had to steal a little piece off down there. That's going to be good. We'll be back. Ciao. Well, the smoked fish is done. This is the salmon steelhead here. Here's some northern. I got some more northern here. Now I got some bigger pieces I left in the smoker a little bit longer just to finish up, but uh, oh man, good stuff. I had to sample this. Oh man, it is so good. You gotta try this. Like I said, the recipe for this is below for the brine. Start out smoking it slow, about 160, bring it up about 10 degrees, over four, five, six hours. Take a little piece out, taste it if it's smoky enough for you, if not, leave it in there. And you'll tell when it's firm enough. I don't like my smoked fish soggy, but I don't want it dry either. I want it just nice. Look at that. Nice flake. Mmm. I want it to have a nice, really good. Mmm. <laughs> and it'll even get better. Just let it cool. Put it in a bag. And by tomorrow, even if you think it's a little too salty or everything, it will smooth out the smoke flavor, everything. It always, always gets better the next day. I've heard had a chance to completely cool down, reassociate all the juices and everything. Anyway, got to do some smoked fish. This is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota.